Hi friends, it's time for our small group activity and we are going to be sorting missing lids. Come on. All right, friends. So today's activity is called missing lids. So what you will need are some containers with lids of uh, various sizes and shapes, and um, you can let your child play with them um, before you do the activity, just to kind of um, get them familiar with them. Um, then you're going to say, well, these lids have all been mixed up. We need to put the right lids back on the right containers. Can you help me? Um, and then you're gonna lead a discussion about the best way to accomplish that. You know, so are you gonna put them, put the containers in a line by size? So you're gonna start with the smallest and move up to the biggest. And then do you think we should put the lids on the same order, the smallest to the biggest or whatever you think? Um, and then invite the children to point out other attributes that may help them to determine the correct lid for each container. So example, color, shape, um, material, um, and just continue that until all of the containers have their, writ, their right lids. Now, for um, the different levels, um, you would start with maybe two containers that are very different so that they can see that, um, you know, one is obviously going to fit on one and not the other. Um, line up the container with the child and spread the lids apart so they can clearly see. Choose a container and ask the child to find the lid that goes on that container. Name the shape and talk about the size in relation to the other containers. For example, here's a round jar. Can we find the lid that matches it? Let's look at the lids and see which one is round like a circle. We have a big round lid and a very small round lid. Which one should we try to fit on the jar? So you've got two um, similar shapes, but very different, one very small, one, one big. So they can um, easily see the difference, okay? Then you're going to, the next level will be to invite the child to match three to five lids in containers and prompt the child to describe the, the shape and size of the containers that they see. So you might say, you said that you have a lid shaped like a circle. Can you find a container to match? I see two containers or two. Uh, yeah, sorry. I see two containers shaped like circles. How else can we decide which one will fit? Yes, one is very big and one is very small. Okay. The next level: Have the child compare the similarities and differences among the containers. So have them look at all the containers and say, what's the same about all these containers or what's different about all these containers? Allow them to decide how to arrange the containers before looking for the lid. So ask them, how would you arrange these containers so that you can find the lids? Um, and then invite the child to think of everyday objects that are shaped like the container in front of them. So, you know, if you have a container that's shaped like this, you might say, you know, this, this container is a round shape like a circle. You found the round lid to match. What else can you think of that's shaped like a circle? And they would tell you. Um, they might even tell you some things that come in containers that are shaped like this. You know, maybe like in your kitchen, you have sour cream or chip dip or Maybe you have margarine or yogurt, um, different things like that, okay? The next level would be as the child looks for matching lids, prompt him to use comparative words to describe the lids and containers. Ask the child to describe the shape of each lid 
they choose. For example, this is oval because it has round ends and two long sides. This is a triangle because it has three sides. Okay, so ask them what shapes they're seeing. Then finally, when the child finds a lid that fits a container, prompt them to think of a container that they have seen before um, that is a similar size. Provide a collection of square and rectangular lids. Invite child to combine shapes to create new designs. Okay. Um, so example, if they put two squares together, say, hey, what shape did you make? Um, so that's all of the different levels. And then, of course, we have our questions that you would um, think about as you're doing the activity. So what comparisons did the child make between the lids and the containers? How long was the child able to attend to the experience? And what shapes was the child able to identify? How did they describe them? So, you know, what shapes? Square, rectangle, circle, triangle, oval, hexagon, octagon. Um, and then how do they describe them? You know, is it, you know, this shape has three sides. This shape has one, one side, um, those kinds of things. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss any videos and you get um, a notification of any new videos posted. Um, and thanks for watching.